Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by metabolism. You should then be able to describe how metabolism converts between different molecules. In a previous video we saw that respiration is a chemical reaction and it releases energy from glucose. The energy released by respiration is used by enzymes to synthesize new molecules in the cell. Metabolism is the sum of all the chemical reactions in a cell or the body, and that's a definition that you need to learn. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the reactions in metabolism. I should point out that all of these reactions are mentioned in other videos, but in this video I'm bringing them all together. Glucose is a really important chemical in metabolism. As we've seen, energy is released from glucose in respiration. Glucose is also the starting point for many new chemicals. For example, in the plant cell, glucose is converted into cellulose, which strengthens the plant cell wall. Also in plant cells, glucose is converted into starch, which is a storage form of glucose. And finally, again in plant cells, glucose is reacted with nitrate ions to make amino acids, and these are then used to synthesize proteins. Now, in humans and other animals, glucose is converted to the molecule glycogen. Glycogen is a storage form of glucose, and we're going to look at glycogen again in a later video. There are two final reactions in metabolism that we need to look at. Firstly, one molecule of glycerol is reacted with three molecules of fatty acids to form a lipid molecule. We find lipids in the cell membrane. Now, it's really important that you learn the details of lipid synthesis, as it could come up in your exam. The final reaction of metabolism involves proteins. Humans don't need to eat a large amount of protein. Excess proteins are broken down into the chemical urea, and the urea is then excreted by the kidneys, and we'll be looking at excretion in a later video. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on metabolism in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Ok, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by metabolism. You should then be able to describe how metabolism converts between different molecules.